what's going on everybody welcome to your 24th Android tutorial for the new Boston again it's me Travis and what we're gonna do in this tutorial is basically just kinda clean up this this little activity with some padding I'm gonna introduce you to that method as well as kinda move this toggle button up a little bit or cut off the bottom a little bit for the most part and also we're gonna kinda set this to on when our when our Java starts or this activity for the most part we want it to start with the toggle on and we'll also change this text I guess so nothing too big and it's gonna be a quick tutorial basically all what I want you guys to do is go up to your first linear layout um, this is the one that will fill the whole screen um, and defines everything else within it and just add a line of code within the opening bracket pretty simple we're gonna say Android padding and we're gonna put uh, like 10 dp something like that well, let's do like 25 dp just so we get a desired result there you go there's just a 25 density pixels of padding throughout this uh, whole linear layout that defines the whole basically edge of this of this uh, XML layout you know padding is good for cleaning up your application making it look a little bit nicer as well as uh, I don't know like my rooms padded I don't know why there's padding all over my walls but you know it's good for safety as well for the most part but uh, for for XML it's good just to kinda clean up your code and get things organized a little bit better now what we're going to do is just basically you can add padding within a direction so what we're going to do is use that on this toggle button and uh, just basically cut off the bottom 10 pixels so we're going to find our toggle button and as you can see I started right there but we're just going to add again one line of code Android padding and as you can see you can do padding around the whole thing padding to the left padding to the top bottom right and we're just going to select bottom and do 10 density pixels as well and check that out that looks pretty good for the most part now we're also going to add one more line of code to uh, you know get that to turn on when it when um, for this XML for the most part again you can't really change anything in the XML once your activity starts you have to define everything within Java so we want kind of you know our XML looking the way that we want it to look when our Java class starts or creates sets the content view so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say Android again if you just put the colon you can see all the methods you can use for the toggle button and there's one called checked we're gonna set checked equal to true and you can set that equal to true or false uh, basically if it's false it would be off and true it's on so there we go that looks pretty good um, let's set this button up now to or just set the change the text to uh, try command and hopefully this will all make sense what I'm actually building here in the next tutorial where we uh, where we kind of define everything or set up the Java and build our application. I'm also going to change this button reference. I thought I said uh, you guys might have it changed already, but I'm going to say TG or I'm sorry, toggle button TB, and uh, we're going to call it password. I believe I said that. I don't know if I did or not, but just change the reference to TB toggle button password for the most part and then we're good to go and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial where we're gonna start with the Java so I'll catch you guys then have a good one